Welcome back, one and all, to Thionite Plays, Stardew Valley 1.6. On the last episode, we went to Skull Cavern, and we got an entire inventory worth of stuff. And I am very pleased about this. In the house, a lot of things are ready. And we are going to, to as always, store a lot of stuff in the house. We never leave the house. It's something that never, ever, ever, ever happens. And I love the fact that we're just opening and closing chests for an eternity. Uh, prehistoric vertebra, we can give one of the two that we found in a dinosaur. Dino floor. I don't know why I said dinosaur so weirdly, but I did. Uh, the prehistoric tibia, that can be put away as well, as well as the prehistoric rib, everything else. We're going to take our single geode to Gunther, because, well... N wait, not to Gunther, to Clint. What do I need to make Omni Geodes? I want to test something. Or not Omni Geodes. I wish you could make Omni Geodes. What do I need for Geode Crusher? Two gold bars, 50 stone, and a diamond. I want to test something. F uh, stone, diamond, gold bars. I want to test something specific. Because I was told in a comment that in 1.4, 1.6, sorry, I'm thinking about Terraria, you don't need coal to operate the geode crusher and if that is the case then oh my god you don't need clint anymore you don't need clint anymore oh my god it's true oh my god you don't need coal anymore i don't need to rely on oh i don't need to rely on clint to break my geodes oh my god i don't care how much faster it takes or how much faster it goes if i use clint i'm never i'm not i'm just not it's not happening i'm not using his services oh my god that's incredible i love that so much oh that is Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's awesome. All right. With that, we have five geodes. I am going to save the, the geodes because we could trade them in for treasure troves, I think. Hopefully, this last vertebra. Hopefully, if we're lucky, this single vertebra will be the thing that unlocks the sewers. And I realize how weird of a sentence that is. It's like, yes, I have the power of vertebras, and now I can go into the town's sewer system, because that's how things work. How many iridium bars? That would make seven, right? Yeah, we have seven total, so I can make two iridium sprinklers with all of that. Um, let's work on some gold as well. Uh, smelt that up. We probably need a metric boatload of the stuff. I wonder if you can open the mystery boxes with the geode crusher admittedly it does take quite a long time for the geode crusher to work but if that's the case i'm not going to concern myself with it because i'd still rather deprive clint of the business than in any way shape or form help him out uh right you get uh what's the word the word it three go three copper three copper i get I, it's a magma geode a magma geode for three cop three copper from a magma geode you're going to give me three copper from a magma geode? I can't. Oh, I still got to go to the dude to break over the damn mystery box. I suppose that is his scam. All right, let's let's go. There's no mail. How can there be no mail today? It's a fresh brand spanking new day and there's no mail? Lewis, what are you doing? What are you doing, Lewis? Oh, my God. We have to say hello to all of our wonderful animals. They're going to get so big so soon once the sheep start producing wool. Oh my god, that, that's going to be the be-all, end-all of incredible things. Once they start doing it, we are go time. Once they start getting wool, we are going to get money in the millions. Or even maybe the billions. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of mayo. Lovely mayo. May I ask you a question about mayo? Do you prefer your mayo with or without eggs? Quantum ducks. Oh, you need to get fed. Oh, I only have eight hundred dollars. How do I have? Ah, how am I so poor? I know exactly. I know exactly why I'm so poor, because I don't have good spending senses. Put all of the eggs away. Perfect. We'll grind those up, and stuff will happen. Oh, the powder melons. Right. It's a Tuesday. No, it's kind of pointless because they need seven days. Right, so the powder melons, we no longer have to worry about the powder melons. Um, before I go into town, actually, uh, I need to put 11 more... Oh, wow, the pickles are done as well. All right, I wasn't really expecting the pickles to be done when I came back in the house, but I suppose they are, so we'll need more stuff. Don't eat the pickled pumpkins. 
That would be atrocious and terrible. 11 more pickled pumpkins. So we'll need 22 more pickled pumpkins. Do I not have any normal pumpkins anymore? Apparently, I'm all out of normal pumpkins. Shock of all shocks. It's actually not that shocking. But we're good. 22 more pumpkins. Those will be ready in three and seven days, respectively. Now let's go into town. Juicy bugs. Oh, right. Oh, the bug meat. 100 bug meat. I got to remember to do that. 100 bug meat. How am I ever going to do that? Ah. All right, that's fine. We can go into the mines. 100 bug meat. That's going to take forever. Ah, uh, if only I had the burglar's ring. If only I had the damn burglar's ring. It'd be so much better. It's, uh, is it any event today? It's Leia's birthday. Leia's birthday. I didn't miss anyone's birthday. Uh, I can get her a salad, I guess. Why am I? It's a Tuesday. Does Leia have, does Leia do, um, the aerobics? I don't know if Leia does aerobics. Uh, let's go to Clint and Gus. And then that'll probably put us at noon and we can go into the saloon and get a salad for Leia. Because I know that's very easy for her to get her hands on. Or that's an easy gift that she likes that we can get our hands on. Yo, dude, process my geodes. And by geodes, I mean your nonsense mystery boxes. <gasps> soup! It's trout soup. I'm not sure if I'd want to consume a bowl of fish soup that's been sitting in a box that we found in a cave. Not exactly sure that that would be good. Bone. Bone. New reward. I, oh, I gotta wonder. Yo, dude. What reward? <gasps> the sloth skeleton in the middle section. Oh my god, a rib cage. Oh my god, Gunther, you gave me a rib cage. I love that so much. Can I plant this acorn? Let me plant the acorn. Lewis, what kind of ordinances do you have going in the town that I can't plant acorns in the middle of the town? I just need three days, and I'll chop the tree down myself, Lewis. Ah, uh, he is... Yeah, gosh. I really wish Lewis was more like Isabel. That would be way better. Gus! Open up! I need a salad! I need an emergency salad! Oh my god, thank you. Man your battle stations! Oh my god. Gus! Gus! I need some leafy greens! I need some leafy greens! This is a robbery. I'm the raccoon robber. It's got alliteration and everything. I should have brought you an orange. <gasps> Wait, this is a big size jukebox. Uh, go with this one. Oh, nice and calm, but still nice and frozen. Gus, give me a salad. Oh my god. That was like <laughs> that that was like a fifth of my overall cost in terms of the money I had. Leia! Leia, I had $800 and I spent $200 of it. I don't want the newspaper. Shut up with the newspaper. Got to sell it. Leia, are you in your house? I never see Leia. We never talk to Leia. Are you in your house? You better be in your house. Oh my god, a winter root. I'm gonna eat it. Just straight out of the ground, dirt and all. Leia, you're in your house. Oh my god, hi. Oh, thanks a bunch, Colander. While this makes my birthday feel really special. In the winter times, it's even harder to get a salad because there's no green in the valley. Normally, I just go outside and eat the grass. I'm my own lawnmower, but in the winter, it's really cold and it gives me brain freeze, so I kind of ignore it and starve. Leia hibernates throughout the winter, which is, you know, as one does. Or do you have anything? We can grow the family bigger. I can't wait for you to get more family raccoons. I could get another raccoon hat. Maybe I just make a fish tank. What What kind of fish? How? If I got a fish tank from Mr. Key and just filled it with nothing but urchins and raccoon hats, what would I do with that kind of knowledge? I feel like, I feel like that would be forbidden in some realities. Uh, yeah, you don't have anything else. All right, wait. How much? How much was the book? Forging experience, 999 fiber. I would need to do unspeakable things to get that much fiber quickly. Uh, let's go into the Seeker Woods, I guess. And then after we chop down those hardwood stumps, then we can go into the mines. And then make a, you know, a good old-fashioned start on getting all of those uh, bug guts. Because I am nothing if not a productive member of the community, and I help my fishermen to get, you know, 
things. <gasps> a secret note in the secret woods. I suppose that tracks. Did I ever give old man consequences? I definitely did. Sometimes I forget. To Haley and Emily, hope you two are doing well. We sent you your favorite gifts. Pink cake and sunflowers for Haley. Gemstones and wool for Emily. Love, Ma and Dad. Aw, oh, they got nice parents. Man, they're going to be my in-laws soon. They're going to have to learn my likes. And it's just money. The only thing Colin loves more than, you know, squid hats and raccoon hats and blobfish hats. Oh, another secret note. We are on a roll today with those things. Give me another one. Oh, it's a photo of baby Jazz and Marnie. That is a really big chicken. Like, far be it from me, and I'm I am a fan of, you know, the Lord of the Rings movies with, like, the forced perspective. It's an incredible tactic when you have to make someone big versus small using nothing but perspective. But, like, Jazz is tinier than the chicken. And I realize that chickens can get moderately large, but to be larger than a human baby that can stand up on their own, because normally if a baby is small enough, it, it can't stand up on its own. But once a human child is grown enough to stand on its own two legs, even if it's wobbling around, I imagine it would be larger than a chicken. It's a really large... Jazz was either a monumentally small child, or that is a very large chicken. Giganto chicken. Very strange. Very, very strange, but I love it all the same. What are we going to do? We need to go... Oh, I forgot the other two stomps down there. Well, I already left the woods. Right. Jazz, you are a very small child. Do you like Holly? There's nothing that says, I am a productive member of this society by giving small children poisonous berries. Is this a gift? Oh... All right, fine. I need to give you more and more pink cake. Raccoon, do you like Holly? I can't give the raccoon poisonous berries. Would it be poisonous to a raccoon? I don't think it would. Probably not. Let's go into the caves. We need to go into the caves because I really need to find the things. Wow, more carrot seeds. We're going to have so freaking many of them. So many. Right, I need the bug guts. We need bug guts and who knows, maybe we get copper. Unfortunately, well, we'll get a lot of copper probably by going down the floors, but we won't necessarily. Oh, I kind of want to see. We'll go back to the coal quarry mines tomorrow, but I just, I really wish. Is it floor five? I think it starts on floor 10 where all the grubs are. Give me all of this stuff. I suppose it will help to get um the slime numbers increased. That's always beneficial. Go away, Dougie. Give me all of your loot. And give me all of your copper. Copper is good. I suppose, yeah, copper is probably helpful to get my hands on. I just kind of wish, did you, you not, you didn't even give me any bug guts. What the heck? I need a hundred of the damn things and you're not giving me any of them? If only I had access to the sewers. If I had access, oh, one of these floors. If I had access to the sewers, I could have just gotten a bunch of bug guts from there. What kind of what, stop touching me skeletons you're gonna give me more rice seeds is that what you're gonna do you're gonna give me more rice seeds i don't even want to deal with you no i don't no i don't three strikes for those things <gasps> bug you didn't you gave me a pair of sunglasses i'm sorry a pair of sunglasses do i have to replace my raccoon hat already oh my god i look so stylish why, why do I, I can't choose between the raccoon hat. I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still going off of the high of the raccoon hat. I can't get rid of it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I really wish I could, but I, I don't have the mental wherewithal to do that. Give me copper and give me bug guts. I am Colin Derwall and I am the scourer of the bug guts. Go away. You're not giving me any, this is why I needed the burglar's ring. It would have doubled all of my chances. I need oodles and oodles of grubs. Die. All of you insects. You wretched, vile creatures. You need to remove yourself from my life. How many is that? Oh my god, it's only eight. We're not even a tenth of the way there. Uh, We'll need to get to... If we can get to 25 bug guts today, then it'll be a success. Because that way I can spread the other 75 across four more days. And wouldn't that be the most interesting series of episodes to watch? It's like, oh, the next four days, he's just going into the mines. That's a lot of copper for bug guts. And he's just like, oh, lovely. We have to watch this. This is the episode that we get today. 
copper hunting, and bug gut collecting. Wow, I realize Stardew is boring occasionally, but not that boring. We got 20 copper ore from that, which is good. Sorry, this is stream of conscious, by the way, as it always is. You guys should know this by now, especially when... I wonder, can we get infested floors? That would be helpful. Because if we got infested floors, that would be lovely. Bugs, give me all of your meat. Give me your viscera. Oh my god, we're turning into Charles in a very literal way. We are collecting viscera. We are collecting viscera in Stardew Valley. That is both monumentally fantastic and disgusting on many levels. At least we're finding the stairs relatively quickly. And we're getting a lot of rocks. Which is good, because we, you know, we like rocks. We love rocks. Is that a crab? <gasps> Bye, crab. Crabs! That's what I, that's what we did... I got no bug meat from three grub, three entire grubs and no meat? What the heck? What kind of dystopian future are we living in where we can't even get the bug meat? That's, that's like I go to, uh, stop giving me nothing. We go to the local 7-Eleven and there's just, they don't have bug meat in stock. What kind of nonsense is this? We did get a perk that doubles the chances of coal, so maybe we should take advantage of that at some point. We'll have to perform an experiment in the mines to see just how much extra coal we get from stuff like that. Jade, give. Give it to me. Our mining level... Mining is level 10. Foraging, fishing, and combat are not. We'll have to work on fishing at some point. And I will. I have plans. And by plans, I mean one of these days I'll just fish until we get to level 10 and... Hopefully, that'll happen sooner rather than later. Because we did do Squid Fest. We went through the entirety of Squid Fest without leveling up. And that is kind of shocking. Because a perch frenzy. I... Oh, if only... I, what are we... 22. Oh, if only I wasn't so busy with the Viscera collection. This is like Miami. Viscera cleanup or whatever that game was. Except... Well, I, I, I don't know where I was going. I, it's just the brain connected the words Viscera. Oh, this is 21. Oh, we're... Oh, it's, oh, I wish I discovered this earlier, because this is a tiny floor, and... Wait, yellow! Is that the one? Gunther! Yes! Yes! This is the final dwarf scroll that we needed. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, this is... Go oh, that is fantastic. Now, that is nice. Oh, my God, we got the scroll! We got the scroll! Oh, that. That is good. And we can just go back to uh, floor 20, and then if we go back down... All of the bugs are back, baby. Oh, I'm taking advantage of this. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be really good. Because we... Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, my God. We can get the dwarf translation guide. And maybe the dwarf scroll will be the thing that gets us to all of the things that we need. The sewers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Maybe we get ancient seeds as well. Oh, this is great. I am very glad that there was uh, an infested floor, literally where I could just go to like 20 and then straight down. Having an infested floor be this tiny on floor 21 is just so fantastic. So easy, so convenient. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I can just grind this out. Hopefully we can do this. Hopefully we can get to, uh, well, depending on how fast we can do this, hopefully we can get to 100 bug guts in a single day. I really wish we had the other things, uh, like the Burglar's Ring or Monster Musk. That would make things infinitely more convenient. But that stupid scroll, we finally found it. And I'm so pleased about that. So inordinately pleased. Oh, that is good. That is good. Very good. Uh, how many are we at? 50. We're halfway there. Whoa! We're literally halfway there. Stop giving me only two of these things. I need way more than just one per go-around of this. It's already 11.20. We're not going to be able to do it today, but we're still going to take full advantage of this fact because this is very useful. The stairs appeared. Whoa. Miraculous. Give me this copper. Give me the copper. Uh, right. Should I just skip ahead? I should probably skip ahead, because we'll be doing this until the wee hours of the morn. Go away. You didn't give me any! No, wait, you gave me an ancient seed. Oh, of course we did. Of course you did! Why am I not surprised that you gave me an ancient seed? That's kind of insane. And I love that. 
That's really nice. Thank you. Not sure exactly how helpful that is, but you did give me one, so... It, eh, eh, no, no, we'll just, we'll just keep going. You're just gonna have to sit here and watch floor by floor, ding after ding. I suppose habit beating the uh, slimes is kind of helpful as well. It'll definitely help. Even though I really wish you would give me stuff. Was that a yam and cherry bombs? 12.30, 12.30, Uh, we only have an extra hour. Well, uh, this is honestly a really good, like, um... You give me another Ancient Seed. What the heck? What the heck? I don't have the Burglar's Ring or anything that gives me loot, and you give me two Ancient Seeds? Talk about that crazy talk. Mermaid Show, 1542-3. Yes, I remember from the things that... We already did that. Here, go. Why is one o'clock? There's no things. I suppose it's good for monster hunting quests, but, like, I kind of wanted something more. How many did we ultimately end up with? 58. Honestly, since we were shooting for, like, 20 or, like, 25 or whatever I said, it's not that bad. I'll do one more. I can't believe we found that dwarf scroll. Oh, my God, that's incredible. I love that. I love that so much. We found this freaking dwarf scroll. We finally found freaking dwarf scroll number three. So good. Get over here, Bugman. Bugman Jones, come here. Get in my inventory. Awesome. 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 We finally got the dwarf scroll. Finally. Finally got the dwarf scroll that we need. We didn't even need to get our hands on the burglar ring. Or dig around in the dirt. We just got it from enemies. And it was the one that we needed. We're going to pass out though, aren't we? Almost certainly is going to happen. Can we pass out in the house at least? No, we can't even pass out in the house. It's a good thing I got no money to care about whatsoever. That is fine by me. Hopefully we didn't lose any of our items. Because if we lost... Okay, we got everything. And I think we might have lost a little bit of money. But that's fine. That's so fine. That was great. Let's drop off all of the nonsense. And then break open the geodes. And then keep putting stuff away. Because we don't need any of it. Uh, the ancient seeds. Uh, we'll put those away for the moment. Because we can technically put or turn them into... Actually, I'll put them in here with the other stuff. Because the greenhouse isn't ready yet. Um, right, sunglasses. Lovely sunglasses. Give me all of this. It's a Wednesday. Does anything happen on a Wednesday? I don't believe anything is happening on a Wednesday. So that's fine. Drop off all of this stuff to get dried off. Uh, right, gold goes away. All of that stuff goes away. Fishing stuff is outside. Any yams that we have go in there. Uh, newspaper gets recycled because we are a good member of the society. Uh, can I put... Oh, God. I need a bigger fish tank so I can put sunglasses on an urchin. The sunglass is... Sunglasses. Does that say you say that word? Can go away for the f moment. Oh, oh, the other one. Oh, God. I can put... Guess I can put you there. Sh sure. Can I? Ah, uh, you look stupid. But it's fine. A Thunderbird egg. Or a Thunder egg. We don't have a Thunderbird. Fine, put another one in there. Pretty sure we already got that. Yep, we already donated it. Who knows? Maybe if I walk outside the house, Gunther will be like, Yo, you want to go in the sewers? And I'm going to be like, Yes, sir. <laughs> Finally. Thank you so much for allowing me to slip into the sewers. Cool. Uh, let's go. Nope, we don't get to slip into the sewers today. But we do have mail! Colin Wall, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious and someone was searching through your pockets. It was probably Nile. She was seeing if I had any fish, even though that's why I keep the crab pots open for her. She can just reach in and replace the bait herself. How much... I don't know how much money they took. I suppose it doesn't matter. Colin Wall, tomorrow's the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend Maru? I got a cup of very old tea for her. Oh, I also have soup that I need to put in the kitchen. You know what? We'll do the Feast of the Winter Star today as well. Because, well, you know, I did give Leia the salad. Okay, I was about to say, like, dang it, Colin, you forgot. But I didn't forget. No, I did not. Uh, right, you're ready as well. Right, of course. Okay, uh, give me all of this stuff. Give me all of the pumpkin juice. 
right, farm chores. We still gotta do farm chores. Just because we're doing other things does not mean we can put off the farm chores. You guys eat so much stuff. Why do you have to eat all my hay? You guys are crazy. You know that? Absolutely insane. Um, give me the hay. Here, have some more. Have some more, you greedy animals. I really need to upgrade the thing. I really do. Uh, we will. We'll do it soon. Egg. Egg, 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 egg. Everything is awesome. All of my eggs are becoming e egg. Are you guys big enough? I think the sheeps are big enough. I honestly, I think the sheep might be big enough for wool. They're big enough for wool. They're big enough for wool, which means we can finally start spinning them. And they're already like silver and gold quality wool as well. That's pretty fantastic. That's pretty neat. That's really good. That's really good. Perfect. Perfect. We got the sheep. The sheep are spinning wool, which is really nice. Uh, Wednesday. Uh, juicy bug, 61, which is honestly really good for a single day. Uh, let's... Was there anything in the greenhouse that I care about? Uh, some of that stuff is ready, but I don't really care about... All of that stuff was ready because of the speed grow fertilizer. Let's go into town. Let's go into town and do things stuff and things i'm stuff you can be things and we'll do things together uh back to town please and then we can go to the quarry today as well because we don't necessarily need to go back to the mines today strictly speaking um why did i come here mystery box that's why i came here have another 25 dollars to break these things open <gasps> Ooh, a tree sapling cherry sapling <gasps> nice i love getting fruit trees that is actually really helpful to me Gunther, 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 my friend. I got scroll all three or all four. I can count. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. Gunther, are you proud of me? Dwarvish translation guide. It teaches you Dwarvish. Yes. Yes, we did it. Oh my God, we did it. Oh my God, we're so lucky to find it. Soggy newspaper. We can do that. Um, I need to go to the mines right away. I want so desperately to see what this stupid dwarf... Are you a friend in this reality? Or is that only expanded? I'm fairly certain that's only an expanded. I don't think the dwarf is a friend. Normally. Hey, 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 wanna buy something? Wanna buy something sweet? I do want to buy something. Dwarvish safety manual. Bombs deal 25% less damage to you. Big stone chest recipe! Yes! Oh, the big stone chest. Oh my god, I need $5,000. That's as enough as a steel tool upgrade. Oh my god, the big stone chest. Oh my god, nice. Um, Do you have anything else? The rare crow, right. I need money. And weathered floor, oh my god. I need, okay, how much money? So nine, 9,000 for that. And then 2,500. So that's 11,500. I need 12 I need 12,000. dollars I need I I need another 12,000. dollars Ah, uh, why does everything have to cost money? Why? Give me this. Four bits of coal. Why does everything have to cost money? It's insane. It's exceptionally expensive. All right, fine. Give me all this stuff. Give me those carrot seeds. Oh my god, it's only four more days. Four more days until winter is over. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we still need to... Oh no, we don't We don't need to go to Gunther. Uh, it's fine, because we, we literally just did that. I really want to see if those coal nodes have come back, though. That's, that's why I'm over here. And we have full HP, so we should be able to handle any strange blue skeletons that might show themselves unnecessarily. Get out of here. Go away. Rocks. Get out of my life, rock. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Where is the area? I think it's all the way up here. And then we have to deal with skeletons. Or, well, potentially skeletons, but we do have to deal with floating skulls because we love being possessed by floating skeletons. Oh, wow. The rocks come back. And those are definitely different types of rocks because the ones in the dungeons only take three hits. I don't see any coal, which is unfortunate. A mega bomb. Nope, there's only one. So I can only assume that they come back with a certain amount of time. 
Get out of here. Die. Thank you. Two bits of coal. Yeah. Well, there's a few. I mean, I'll pick them up, but... Go away. Go away, skeleton. You're giving me more rice. Why is it always rice? It's always rice. Go away. You're animals. You don't even give me any good loot. Break open the rocks. Give me the rocks. Don't touch me. I'm gone. You can't touch me. I'm no longer in this place. Wasted three hours. Went in at 10 o'clock and came out at 1 o'clock. It's just like, it's three hours. Squirrel! Can't believe it's disappearing into a tree with no leaves. Oh, mystery boxes and a rusty cog. <gasps> Gunther! Gunther! We need to go to Gunther immediately! That's an artifact. Oh my god, everyone we do, everyone we donate. We're one step closer to the freaking stupid sewer system. Go into towns. Go into town quickly. I miss my communal town garden plot. I really miss Expanded. That was a fun time. G-Man! G-Man! I got another one. I found another one for you. You can have that. Hopefully, I don't know if that's going to count towards, or if it's going to be the, the the artifact that breaks the Yoba's back, but we did it. Um, It's the 24th. We don't have any rewards. I guess we could check out the beach. There are still some farm chores we have to deal with. Wow, you're really going to give me that nonsense? Did I just hear a little thing? I guess I can check the river really quick. Where? I I don't know if I... I know I heard it, but I have no idea where it would be. And if it's not anywhere close, then it's pointless to me. Trash cans. Trash cans. By the power of my trash cans. Marnie. Marnie. No, I don't need Marnie for anything. And it's a Wednesday. We don't need to worry about anything on a Wednesday. Again, that stupid sound. Where is our pan? Oh, we put it away for Skull Cavern. Right, right, of course we did. I need to go and get that. I need to go and get that. And I will. But until then, you guys still don't have another child? Man, how fast do raccoons reproduce? Probably pretty quickly. Uh, let's go. I don't want to harvest. I don't necessarily need to harvest the melons just yet. But we do need to do... Uh, I'll, I'll pick this stuff up. What is this? Another stupid thing. Don't we just love stupid things? Give me this. Wow, a snow yam. I love it. Give me carrot seeds as well. Wow, I love carrot seeds. I love getting two carrot seeds. Hello, Niall. Are you trapped in that area? I feel like Niall is trapped in that area. Is that a block of sandstone sandstone oh we've already donated that all right i was about to say it's like did we have sandstone before i don't think we did i can't say whether or not we did or not and we evidently did did uh sandstone put that away go away sandstone we don't need you for any esoteric recipes uh the soda oh, god i guess we could put the soda in in there as well as the egg so many things. Oh, and a mega bomb. We keep the bombs in here. It's a bomb factory for bombs. Give me this stuff. I got all my tools back now. It's a Wednesday. I keep repeating that stuff. Um, Didn't we have something to do in the barn? Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Right, we need to get 10 more pumpkins. Lovely 10 more pumpkins. Can I have more, please? And thank you. Y you there we go 10 pumpkins thank you pumpkins i am the pumpkin lord of the pumpkins drop it all off nice i probably should move those to a different location but i'm not that smart and i don't really want to so that's fine uh let's get the rest of this because we did put the cheese and the wool in there and we do get with higher quality wool we'll get the potential for more uh, whatchamacallit? Cloth. So that's good. Five bits of cloth. Twenty, nearly three grand from the cloth already. So we're going pretty well for ourselves. We're doing pretty well. Money, though. Money, money, money. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up and Gunther will be outside of our door and be like, yo, you want this key? And I'll be like, I really want that key. And then he'll be like, you can have this key. And I'll be like, yes! And then that'll be fantastic. Because there's really not much else that we can do to make this day any better than it already is. 
because we got the Dwarvish translation guide. We got a few more artifacts. It was great. All of this stupid fruit. I really wish, I don't know, maybe with dehydrators, with the dehydrators, it might be more worth your time overall to have the consistency of the mushroom cave rather than the fruit bat cave. Just because of like, it, I don't know if it's still, uh, you get like mushrooms every day or they might have changed it in 1.6. It's entirely possible. But even if it's like every two days or three days even, the consistency of just getting six mushrooms like day after day after day after day is probably way better than just the erratic nature of the percentages of getting fruit. Uh, periwinkle. Actually, we cook the periwinkle, don't we? We cook our periwinkle in this household, and then we store the sashimi away for useless purposes. Why do we have bait? I need more wood. It's only five o'clock, what the heck? How is it possible? How is it possible? Uh, give me the gold. Start smelting more stuff up. Start smelting it all up. Uh, right, 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 right. We have 21 jade. Uh, this last Sunday of the season, because tomorrow's the 25th, and that's a festival, so we can just, we're fine with putting that in this episode, and then we'll have the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th. Maybe we just, you know what? Maybe the next episode will just be one mega episode, no matter how long it takes. The last three days, just to make it even. You know what? It doesn't matter how long these last two episodes of winter year one are. We'll just, uh, do it full on throttle. We'll, we'll go full throttle. I am going to, honestly, there aren't any trees left in Cindersnap in the middle of winter for me to chop down. I was just like, we could chop down trees for the rest of the day. We can't do that. I guess, wait, can we get some grapes? Let me go get the grapes. I need some grapes. Let me pick these things up. Hopefully we can get five grapes. Because if we can get enough grapes, then I would really like to see if we can make raisins. Hopefully, we have enough of a single quality. No, we got three, and then two, and then four. These are like summer crops, right? Hmm. Because if they are summer, yeah, they're summer. Because in the spring, you've got... What do you get in spring? Why do you have... That, that's a weird UI thing. It seems like there should be something below the price for sweet peas. Like, there's a section for energy and then the money. It's That seems weird. Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Although, maybe we have a few grapes left over? M maybe? No. We have no grapes left over. We have no leftover grapes. Isn't that grape? Uh, put those away. Uh, I guess for the immediate, we can put the grapes in here. I'm fairly certain we need some grapes for some recipes. Um, yeah, we'll put the rest of the cranberries in there as well. Just in case we need them. Uh, right. Uh, right. What are we going to put in the dehydrators now that we're out of cranberries again? We are quickly running out of things. How did I get 40 rice shoots? There's no way those skeletons are so prolific as to have that many rice shoots. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Uh, I guess we could do... Um, I have no idea. What can we put in the dehydrators? Mushrooms, I guess? Maybe the common mushrooms? I would need 30. Because there's 5, 10, 15... Yeah, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, there's 30. 30, 30 I'd need 30 fruit. Spice berries? Do we need spice berries for any recipes? I don't know if we need any spice berries. Guess we could dry them up. Hmm. Put the spice berry. They're for crafting things. I have no idea what I'm going to put in there. Uh, wait. Powder melons? Powder melons are a fruit, right? I'm fairly certain powder melons are a fruit. Let me test something. Me these powder melons. Have I successfully grown 30 powder melons? I don't know when the uh, the majority of these things are going to be ready, but some of them are. 
And even even if we honestly, even if we did grow 30 powder melons, then they all wouldn't be of the same quality, so it wouldn't really matter regardless. All right, so there's a few powder melons, and they are a fruit. Honestly, I thought they'd be more expensive than they are. I suppose it's just nice to have a winter crop. Nothing is ready except one machine that I don't know what they're talking about. Hmm. How many winter roots... Or, not winter roots, powder melons. Maybe we want to do the same thing as we do with the carrots. Just store the normal ones and then grind up the other ones for seeds. Probably for the best. Hmm. No, don't fall back into them. Hmm. That would be bad. Because if we do if we do more powder melons, because like one silver powder, it's only 75. They are really not expensive. Because like one silver pumpkin is 400. One powder melon, 75 versus 400. That is a very large margin. Hmm, that's a very big difference. Very big. What do I want to do with the powder melons? Like, they're good for stuff in winter when we have nothing else. But, like, are they the best of the best? Like, should we rely on, like, drying a bunch of crystal fruit? I don't rightly know what's the best thing to do with these powder melons. I'm definitely going to grind up the silver and the gold quality ones. Oh, my God. You're... You're going to give me mixed seeds? Don't give me mixed seeds. Of all of the things, not mixed seeds. That's atrocious and I do not want. Not in the slightest. We do have winter seeds, but we can't really do much with those. What is the spring one? That's carrots, right? Spring is carrots. 94 carrots. I want a 94 carat diamond. You know how you have 24 carat gold? And then you have different quality carrots of diamonds? Well, that's what I want. I want different... I want 97 carat carrots. I don't know where I'm going with this. Do we have any more geodes? I don't think we do. I got the sandstone out of the other one. And then we have the omni geodes. I guess... Don't eat the thing. I guess we can just, uh, for the rest of the day, just grind up the powder melons and then go to bed. There isn't really much else to do today. And then there's just a feast of the winter star tomorrow. How much hay do we have? Three of 24. Uh, all right. Uh, I suppose we do need to grind, or not grind up. We need to get a few more bits of hay. Luckily for us, we have the ability to do that en masse. I don't know. Oh, this stuff is fine to get rid of. Get out of here. I will get rid of all of this grass. And then I will have enough hay for the rest of the winter. Probably. If I had to guess, that's probably enough hay to survive the rest of the winter. M maybe. 24 bits. It's enough for th a day and a half. Which is, you know, fine, but not really f fine, fine. Is the gold going to be ready? I might stay awake until the gold is ready and then go to bed. That's probably what we'll do. Uh, sunflowers. What do we need for, like, gifting things? Hey, Robin, we still need to work on. Emily, Linus, Demetrius. I mean, it's not honest. Honestly, it could have been for year one. Only having... F oh, no, the dwarf is there. Maybe it's just because I never talked to him before, and that's why he's not there. Okay, so it's not just purely expanded. That makes sense. Probably just because I didn't talk to him. But for year one, only having four people with no hearts is not terrible. And two of them being Sandy and the Dwarf, which are kind of locked behind relatively mid-game requirements and luck. Basically, how much money you can make however quickly to get to the desert for Sandy and then how quickly you get the Dwarf Scrolls for the Dwarf. Honestly, it's not terrible. It could be way better, but hopefully in year two, we'll be way more on top of gifts and we'll, be, we'll have way more resources for gifting purposes. So that'll be fine. If I keep on top of gifting two gifts a day, or two gifts per week per individual, it should be good. It should be good. Uh, let me get the last of the powder melon seeds. Uh, put the mystery box. We'll, we'll break those open 
or the day after tomorrow because it's the Feast of the Winter Star. There really isn't anything left for me to do. I am going to wait for the gold. And then I guess we'll do more copper, I guess. Or iron. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do I'll do gold and iron, I guess. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to wait around for until the gold is ready or Oh, never mind. Never mind, actually. I genuinely thought that that would uh, take a little bit longer than that, but shows what I know. All right, that's good. Let's drop off the gold and then go straight to bed, I guess. Yeah, because there's really there's really not much else for me to do. Ah, not L. Love you so much, my beautiful little cat. Give me the rest of this stuff. Give me all of this. And then we can drop off all of this nonsense. Get me some bars, put that away. Good all around. So, it's Maru. Maru is our secret gift, which means I'll just give her star drop tea. So, four friendships. Where is Maru? Maru is at three hearts. So, after today, we'll have to see what she's at. It should be very interesting to see. Uh, Gunther. 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 Gunther! I really hope, I really hope, I really, really hope that Gunther's not showing up mainly and entirely because it's, it's a, it's a, it's a festival and not because we still haven't gotten the stupid requirements. God, if we still haven't gotten the stupid requirements, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. Have the sheep given us more wool? No, but we have gotten more milk. I wonder if it's every other day for the sheep i don't i never honestly if, i don't think in expanded we even had sheep i don't think i did much with sheep ever so i don't exactly know when good timing for sheep are i think these i think a lot of the powder melons are ready which is lovely isn't it it should be lovely and it is don't eat the rainbow trout bro what are you doing colin don't even think about it that would be the height of stupidity four eggs Four eggs? Gecko, I need the hay. Stop trying to usurp me. You're gonna get in my way. You're gonna prevent everyone from eating today. You're starving, and it's on you. All on you. Give me all of this. Uh, the greenhouse. I guess we can pick up the melons. It's not like there's really much else that we could be doing. Would it be wise? It's the 25th. No, it wouldn't be wise to put a bunch of mixed or er, fiber seeds. Although, mm, I really wish... Uh, I suppose it would be a real tall ask to have a crop that grows in winter and spring, but you can't help but wondering. It would be really nice to have something that could keep this ground tilled and watered. But it's not the end of the world that such a crop does not exist. Or, well... Something that only takes four days, or three days. I suppose if all of this was fertilized ground, I could use other crops, but it's not, so we're fine. Oh, the rest of it. Uh, sure, let's get all of this. Let's get all of this, and hopefully we can test our raisin hypothesis. Because I really would love to get my hands on some raisins, if at all possible. So between all of this, we should at the very least have some grapes that we can do. And then, maybe I'll only do one grape? Or maybe we do some spice berries as well? We have a lot of spice berries. The rest of this stuff in here is sunflowers and ancient seeds. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's put... Let's not... Oh, we put... All right, well, we managed... Sure, you know what? Um, that can go in there. Powder that... Oh, the feast! The feast! Um, uh, 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 another grape, uh, another grape, and another, uh, thing. All right, sure. We're drawing spice berries and grapes, because why the heck not? Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, drop all of, no, we don't need to do that. We need to get into town. We need to get to town. We need to get to town. Get to town, get to town, get to town, get to town. We'll get to town. Uh, put that stuff away. Because I think we have a few hours. We don't need to worry so badly. Six, five, and five. All right, so we have some grapes. Uh, let's get those grinding, those smelting. 
And I suppose we should go into town now. Yeah, the wait. Pan. Mmm, 10 copper. That's kind of a lot. Well, it's more than I ever got before. So honestly, I'll have to see how useful it is to hang on to the pan. It might be interesting. It might be worth our time. Might not be. We'll have to see. Keep our eyes peeled. Let's go into town. Pam, you're not enjoying the festivities today? More for the rest of us. I hope everyone enjoys my raccoon hat. I put a lot of work into it. I don't have money for anything that Pierre might sell. Oh, good lord. Please don't have anything interesting. Oh, Pierre, please sell trash. Cave carrots, bread, coffee. Twenty-five hundred dollars for a single espresso. Holy crap, dude. All of this stuff we can get from the inevitable thing that we're going to get. Okay, so at least I didn't waste my time and lose out on some scarecrows. That would have been terrible. Pierre, do you have anything to say to me today? My sales figures have been phenomenal lately. Thanks all and entirely to the Feast of the Winter Star. Yeah, it's called price surging and price gouging, and it's a crime. You should go to jail, Pierre. Louis! Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax, dear boy. Hang up your raccoon hat for the day and enjoy some bre fresh breeze. A breath of fresh air through your hair. Hello, Marnie. You look lovely today. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. That That's all you're going to say? You're probably just watching jazz. <gasps> presents! Oh my god, I love presents too. Wait, it's the Feast of the Winter Star. I'm going to get a present. Oh, my God. Who is my secret Santa? Pam. Pamela. I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. That's because you're a scrub, Pam. You're not good with a fishing pole. You're not nearly as handy with a rod compared to Colander Wall. Hi, Penny. What a beautiful tree. I don't know which one you're talking about. The one behind you, the one that's slightly smaller, or the one that's really big in the center of town drawing everyone's attention. Probably the one behind you. Sebby! Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Oh, God, tell me about it. But of all of the days to worry about it, it's not today. Hi, Robin. You're the backbone of society. Oh, hi, Colander Wall. You're welcome to join our family table if you need the company. Oh, you're such a kind-hearted woman. Oh, my God. I can eat the jello. I can eat the jello. And this is some nice mulberry wine. Oh, my God. No, wait. Don't give Mara the gift yet. I forgot that Maru is our secret Santa. Demetrius, I'll probably get another tool set this year. What's wrong with having multiple tools? It's always useful to have. Can we open presents now? Can we, can we, can we? I got you a live snail. If it's not moving, it's because it's cold and it's a hibernating in winter. Once it hits springtime and once the snow spontaneously melts, it'll just spring back alive. And if it doesn't, throw it in the river. You'll feed the fish for the day. Oh, I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family too, I guess. You look really short with the hat on. Sam looks significantly shorter. Jody, it's not a good time of year for a diet. Oh God, no, do you see this jello? This is like, you you do the jello shots, it's like 99% alcohol. If you were to light a spark near that jello, might as well be a nitroglycerin bomb. Alex, the person that we don't talk to ever. Granny Evelyn, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing out. No, I have a raccoon hat. It keeps my ears incredibly warm. A feast for some stupid star. Humbug. I have a story. <gasps> my girlfriend! I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. It's, it's a weird... Th it's, it's not a spirit tree. <gasps> we should have... Concerned Ape, can you put ghost trees in the game? Maybe around Halloween, you can just have a special spiritual ectoplasm seed. And it can grow ectoplasm fruits. And it would be interesting. Because we already have ghosts in the game, and we already have ectoplasm. Why not ectoplasm fruits? We should be able to. I really wish you were my secret Santa, my love. Hello, my future sister-in-law. Colin Durwall. It is an absolute pleasure to see my future brother-in-law in this fine festival of frozen wonder. What do you hope to find under the spirit tree? Honestly... Some nice spiced mead. I could really go with a nice hot beverage right now. It'd be so nice. Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll come over to dinner tonight. I'll come over to your house or you come over to my house. We'll raid the fridge of all the food. We got spicy eel. 
We got special stuff. It'll be great. Harvey! I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year, except for that one altered timeline where I had my spine removed and replaced with, you know, a metal spine. And then my heart got removed and then got replaced by a pump. And then I got my brain removed and it was replaced by a Tesla coil. The coils of Nikola Tesla in its head. Gus, it's a fine art making Tesla coils. Uh, it's really good to wrap the candy around their coils. It'll give you a nice electrified taste. Man, peppermint and electricity. You can't go wrong. My worst enemy. How are you doing, Clint? Uh, all these happy families. But for me, just another lonely year. God, what a washed up waste of space. You come to this, the entire town is coming out to have a great time. And you're just like, woe is me. I'm alone another year. Enjoy, socialize, eat the spiked jello, have a fun time. My God, stop moaning your lot in life. Make something of yourself, you crass individual. God, there's a reason why he's my least favorite character in this entire universe. Across every reality, you will always be my least favorite person, Clint. God, you're atrocious. Maru, you are at three hearts with me. Star drop T. So it's you! Oh, Stardrop T. Oh, thank you so much. This is wonderful. Who am I going to get a gift from? <gasps> Marnie! Please don't give me hay. I mean, I'd love it, especially at the tail of the winter, but like something or a dozen eggs. I can make a dozen eggs myself in three days. I can lay them myself. I'm a raccoon hybrid human. Colin Derwall, my friend, the man who spent $94,000 at the shop. I cannot wait to give you this gift, my secret gift giver. Open it up, open it up. What is it? What is it? It's 12 eggs. I'll turn them into mayo. Thank you. Well, actually, I'll use them for a recipe. Of all of the things, this is very, is, I'm going to make 12 omelets and feed them to the cows. I'm sure they'll love it, even though is vegan or vegetarian the one that don't have eggs in their diets? It's not much, but it's honest work, and I hope you enjoy it. I do enjoy it, Marnie. I am I am one with the spirit of Festivus, and I am the one who loves to give and receive gifts. Can I speak with Mara today? Why are we still at the festival? Why do I have the strangest feeling that in past updates... After you gave the gifts, it sent you home. Maru, can we have another talk? No, we can't. What is our friendship like with Maru? Maru shoots up, oh my god, to six hearts. We went from three to six with a single gift. How much? How how many hearts? Stardrop T is powerful. Three to six hearts. Good lord. She was at, she was at like one of the worst friends we had. But now she, she she doubled the friendship points. Wow, we are really good friends with Maru. <laughs> That's great. Hi, Leia. Gus was just telling me about his artisanally handcrafted candy canes. Oh, does he get them from the Charles Derwall? No, Charles D. It's not Charles Derwall. It's, if it ends in D, it doesn't automatically equate to Derwall. It's just Charles, Charles is, you know, the one with the artisanally handcrafted jams and jellies. Maybe for the holiday season, he might have branched out into candy canes. I don't know what he's doing. At this point, he might be dead. D dead? He Honestly, knowing Charles, he might be dead. <laughs> I wanted to say he might have been done with the brain, but he might be dead. I don't know where things are going with him. Uh, Currently, with Charles. All right, well, we're going to destroy his liver, his brain, and his heart. Everyone, get away from the jars. I have no idea what's going to happen. Wiley, how are you doing? Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? Yes, sure. Tell me. Regale me of the tale. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star, only visible from this single valley, because that's how astronomy and stars work. No one knows why this is. Light pollution, probably. But in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see this magnificent, beautiful pinprick of light in the sky. They believed so wholeheartedly that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even go so far as to claim that the mysterious fruit known as the star star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. 
Why? Just because it has star thrice in the name? There's like the star star drop and then the, the winter star 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 drop? Superstitious nonsense. What is this? Why is there... Why, why is there... Why is there a star? There's just a random star. Has there always just been a random star? I don't know. There's a random star on Pierre's hut as well. Is it a treasure hunt? Abigail, have we spoken? Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day. You gotta eat quick or the crab cakes are gonna cool. You can go all the way down here. Can you leave from the south? You could. Can I go inside? I can't go inside my girlfriend's house to snoop through her belongings. <laughs> that probably came across as uh, a bit weirder than I intended, but... It's something, you gotta admit, snooping around, it's something that Colin Wall would do, without hesitation. Let's go to bed. I am already worn out my social batteries. We're done for today. Someone should really fix this fence. Robin, can you fix this fence? It's like, it's like broken. We need to get it fixed. Let's go back to the house. Wow, it's 10 o'clock. Whatever are we to do? Oh, right, more stuff. Give me some stuff, I guess. Wow, these winter seeds, these powder melon seeds are not giving me a lot. They're really not giving me a lot of things. Um, duck egg, duck egg. That's two, three, four, five. And then we'll put these eggs in there. Green eggs and ham. Where is the green eggs and ham that everyone tries so hard to keep their hands on? Give me all of this. Right, 25, 74. We're using so much coal. Why, you may be wondering? Well, because you can never have enough iron bars. For so... Why did I put the melons away? Why did my brain default to put the melons away? What is wrong with me? Probably a lot of stuff. No one answer that. Please don't answer that. I, I, I know, all right? I know. I get it. I get it. Put the eggs. Give me the eggs. Give me the secret formula. Do we get anything today? We get more cheese, which is good. I suppose we'll see if we can get more wheat tomorrow. Or not wheat, uh, wool. Because we'll get wool, hopefully. Hopefully it's every two days. Because if it's every two days, that's probably pretty good. Is there anything else to do to take care of? Open tilled soil, 96. Not really, if that's the case. Uh, give me all of this nonsense. Uh, let's not... Has it been three days already? Pickled pumpkins? Oh my god. What is happening to the time? What is happening to the timeline? I need to make more... Preserve jars. I really do. Three and two. Um, the powder melon seeds, we don't really need to care about. I'll do an experiment with one of the powder melons. Actually, we have normal quality powder melons, right? Yeah. I'm going to do an experiment with dried powder melons. And we'll see how that takes. Um, no, don't eat the things. Don't eat powder melons. It's bad for you. It's midnight. Honestly, let's just go to bed, end off the day, and then in the next episode, I guess we're going to end off winter. We're going to end off year one. Man, that is kind of shocking. It feels like just yesterday that we were just starting up Stardew Valley 1.6, and we were having a grand old time, but yet here we are, nearly at the end of our first year. That's crazy to me. It is crazy how fast things are going, but we love it all the same. Love playing this game. I love it so much. All right, with that, it's the end of the episode. One, one last bit of powder melons to grind up. The last, the last of the gold star pomegranates. And by pomegranates, I do absolutely mean powder melons. And then we'll just have a continued collection of the silver ones. You, there, you, there, powder melons, powder melons. Powder melons, powder melons, powder melons, powder melons, powder melons, powder melons, powder melons. Uh, more. Oh, man, you guys go quick. All right, fine. Go to bed. Go to bed before we pass out and lose any more of our paltry amounts of money that I need so much more of. Ah! Nothing happened in the middle of the night. Raisins. Oh, God, I'm going to have to leave you on a cliffhanger. We'll see what the raisins are all about 
the next episode of Thai and I Plays Stardew Valley 1.6. So whether you watched it for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you all, you wonderful, marvelous, fantastic people for tuning in to yet another episode. And I will see you in the next raisin-filled final episode of the snowy year one winter months Stardew Valley. Later.